Hello ladies and gentle dudes. Welcome back to my channel. So it's been a hot minute since I have filmed. Um, it feels really good to be back. I have technically been filming like for the past week and a half or maybe two weeks at this point now because I did post yesterday in my announcements if you didn't see it, let me know because I that's the first time I've ever tried that thing. But anyways, I posted that I'm doing 25 days of Christmas. So I'm gonna be uploading a video a day all the way up until Christmas. And I've just been working really hard to like pre-film because I am going out of town to Jersey for like two weeks. And then I'm gonna go to North Carolina for the week of Christmas. So like I need to have everything pretty much done before the end of this week, which today is, what is today? The first. So I have a bunch of videos pre-filmed, but I didn't wanna just like upload one of those with like no context. I wanted to kind of announce that I'm doing the 25 days of Christmas and make sure you guys saw it and definitely hit the little bell so you'll be notified every day when I upload. I can't promise like that I'm gonna upload it at the same time every day. Today's gonna be a little bit later because I am filming this video. It's already like five o'clock, so it'll probably be up at like seven when you guys are watching this. But um, I just wanted to film one where I announce it because it just feels weird to like just post one randomly with no context. And I wanna explain like why I've been gone and all the good stuff, but I'm gonna do it while I get into the video so it's not just me talking because that's boring, as you guys have made pretty apparent <laughs> in the comments. So anyways, let's just get straight into the video. And today I'm gonna be doing, as you probably saw in the title, my just everyday winter makeup routine. So yeah, go ahead and keep on watching. So I've got a couple breakouts right now, not too, too bad. They're completely flat. They're just scarred now because they were really big pimples. But Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is start off with my Glossier Future Do. I have a whole Glossier full face of makeup video coming soon. I just ordered a bunch of stuff from them. No, it's not sponsored. Wish it was, because I love Glossier so much. Please sponsor me. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna be putting this on my face. And this stuff is so hydrating. I get the dry skin ever in the winter. And this is like, one of the only products that's actually really like kept me moisturized and it kind of just gives you that. I'll go more into it in the glossy day video which will be uploaded sometime soon. But um, it just kind of gives you, you know when it's nighttime and you freshly put your lotion on and your face looks really shiny and it looks like you just put lotion on? It gives you that look but like all day and it's awesome. And then, just let that set a little. I'm gonna spray my beauty blender with my Mario Badescu spray. So yeah, just taking my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm in the shade Light. This one's like broken, I feel like, because it brings out, I feel like the stopper on it is broken because it pulls out too much product every time. So that's kind of annoying. Anyways, I just use that to cover up any spots that I have or any redness. And then I just blend that out. I guess I'll talk about why I've been gone while I'm blending this out. So I haven't posted in a while as I'm sure you guys noticed. It's not for any reason. It's not like I needed a break from YouTube. I just, I'm in my first semester of my senior year at school and it is just a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of work. I'm taking like all studio classes. If you guys are in art school, which I doubt most of you are, but you would know what that means. I'll just explain it a little, but it's basically like before I was taking, I have taken studios in the past, but it's kind of recommended that you take lectures along with your studios so that it breaks up the work a little bit. But now until I graduate, I'll be taking literally all studio classes, which means that instead of like getting lectured and studying and doing stuff like that, um, I'll actually be making like senior portfolio stuff, um, which is a lot of work. It's a ton, a ton, a ton of group work and it's a lot of time management. And I just, you know, so, like I obviously like <sighs> education is super expensive and I'm not gonna like focus on YouTube and completely put school aside just to like make money, if that makes sense. Um, like school is just more important, um, but I'm almost done. And as soon as I graduate, I'm like full force gonna focus um, on YouTube. That's usually what I do when I get on the breaks anyways. 
like for now, for example, I'm uploading a video a day, so I'm obviously super focused on YouTube when I'm not in school, but yeah, that's why I've been gone. It's just because like I literally, I don't have time to do YouTube, but I'm making it up to you guys over the break, I promise. Um, concealer's done. Now I'm going to go in with some bronzer. I use this one from Tarte. It's in the shade doesn't have a shade. It's just, oh, Park Avenue Princess. It's like a liquid bronzer, but it's very pigmented, so I don't use a lot. I'm just going to put that on my forehead to add a little bit of color to my face and on my nose and on my eyes. Now I'm going to go in with some Glossier Cloud Paint. I really like this one for my everyday makeup because it's in the shade Puff because it's so light and undetectable on the skin, it's just like, it looks like I'm very naturally blushing from within, which I really appreciate. And then I personally like to use my fingers, not the beauty blender because it absorbs too much product to blend this in. So there it is. As you can see, it's extremely natural, but it gives me a bit of a flush, but that is too light for my lips. So I like to go in with my other cloud paints. This one's in the shade Haze, and then this one's in the shade Storm, and I like to use those for my lips because Storm's just a bit too, like, orangey, if that makes sense. This one's got, a, I like more berry toned things, but this one's too berry toned. It's like almost purple. So when I mix them, it becomes like the perfect little concoction. This is how they look on my lips, so you can see how different the two shades are. But yeah, I just mix them together. And blend out. And then as you can see, the Tarte Shape Tape didn't exactly 100% cover my face. I'm just gonna take my full cover from Makeup Geek and apply that on any like extra tricky blemishes I have. Alright, so the next step I do is freck, and I was going to tell you guys to go and take advantage of the Black Friday sale for the extra large size and use my code, but I just checked and they're sold out. But if you want to get the smaller one, it works just as well, it's just you get less product. Um, here's my code, and yeah, you guys should def get some because it's awesome. And I'm just going to apply those. I'm doing them, I've been finding myself doing way less lately, just cause, I don't know, I just have, whatever dude. Alright, Rex done. So now, I really, like, this is a really honest, um, video. I have not been wearing that much makeup lately. Most days I don't even wear it. This is like if I decide to wear makeup, what I wear in the winter time. But I've just like, like I said, I've been so busy with school. I'd rather get like five minutes of extra sleep than wake up earlier and do my makeup. I'm going to go in now with my lip liner. Um, this one's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's in the shade Pillow Talk. These are like my favorite lip liners in the world. I love them. I do like to overline my lips. I wouldn't even call it overline, I just do it. Yeah, I guess it's overlining. Like so. Very natural. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with some lip gloss. This one's also from Glossier. This is like one of my favorite lip glosses ever right now, but I also really like this one from NYX. They're both really, really pretty. This one's um, the Butter Gloss in the shade Angel Food Cake, and then I just got the red one from Glossier. I think I'll use, since I already used the Glossier one in um, the Glossier video, I'll use this one so you guys can see it. Um, the Glossier one is also a little bit more sticky than I would like. It doesn't bother me too much, but like, 
I don't know, it's fine for like the first hour you wear it and then after it, it stays on like by all means it doesn't go anywhere but it starts getting more tacky like the longer you wear it so I find myself reapplying it more whereas this one just kind of like naturally wears off and leaves my lips hydrated so I have been really loving glosses lately though I think that's it I'm literally done I told you guys I have not been wearing a lot of makeup lately and I wasn't kidding I don't even wear eye makeup and I have been doing nothing to my eyebrows all right, so last step, just cause I'm so dry in late winter time, let me zoom you back out. I take my Mario Badescu spray, I'm almost out, I need to get more, but I just spray my face. Whew. Just to get that extra moisturization, I'll throw that in my purse usually too, just to carry it with me throughout the day. Um, mixing retinol and the winter months just has my skin so dry but as you can see it doesn't look it when I use this routine so yeah that's the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and make sure to just subscribe if you haven't already and definitely hit the bell so that you'll be notified every day when I upload a new video so yeah that's everything I will see you guys tomorrow <laughs> thanks for watching bye